Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about primers. Now before I get into the topic, I just want to tell you a few things. Uh, one thing is that I'm going to start the series of top 3 on my channel where I'm going to share my top 3 face products, eye products and so on and so forth. So from now on you will be seeing top 3 series and yes something in between will be coming up definitely. So <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, so today's topic as you know I am going to share my top three primers with you all and let you know which is the best as per me This is like something which I've been using since a long time and I really like it So without rambling too much about it Let's get started and before that please subscribe to my channel and follow me everywhere The primers is something one of the most important steps in doing a full glam look or a simple look Whenever you're going to do a makeup where you are going to use a good heavy foundation and then later on so forth you're going to apply a blush, a bronzer, everything. You want everything to glide on smoothly. So primer is something which basically smooths out your skin, fills in your pores, fill up your wrinkles and everything and give you a smooth finish so that your foundation goes really smooth on your face and gives you a flawless look. So this is all about primers. The first primer I would recommend to you from my side is has to be from Lakme. Lakme doesn't have too many primers in them with them, but this is one of the best I have used, which is called as Lakme Blur Perfect. Now this primer, as you can see, it has a little pinkish tint to it, but uh, I have noticed that with the dry skin or very dry skin, this may you may feel that there is a white cast as I have also examined it on my skin later part when I was using the primer. So this one thing I want to mention. So the, for the very dry skin, one recommendation is you can hydrate your skin really well before using this particular primer. For better hydration, it's just that you have to use a good moisturizer pre-hand, let the skin absorb the moisturizer and then go with this primer. Now the total amount in this primer you are getting is 30 grams and it will cost you around 650 nothing more than that and wait for a good discount you will definitely get one. This will complement all skin, all skin types. It really uh, just give you a smooth finish. If you have very large pores then I would not recommend you this one. But if you have something in middle and you are not comfortable with those silicone ones this is really good. That consistency as you have seen it's moussey so it just melts down in the skin. You don't have to rub over and over again. This one this primer is going to last you for three years straight down so yes it will uh, suffice you good amount of time if you're looking for a very good primer which where you don't have to you don't want to apply a foundation you just want to use a primer you can definitely put your hands in this this can be used wholly solely by itself and you can just set your face with a loose powder or pressed powder and you're good to go so i hope you will like this one so this is my first recommendation the next primer has to be something a little different and a little different in texture. So the second one as per me has to be something like the Color Bar Perfect, Perfect Match Primer. Now this is one of the different kind of primers which doesn't have any tint. So this will complement any skin tone for that matter. It is not going to leave any white cast of source, any of that sort. This primer definitely will complement all skin types be it be dry or oily or combination and the consistency of this primer is thicker so basically if you have big pores here or here it will just cover up or give you a smooth finish at least with me it's doing well i don't have much pores on my face so this really like gives a smooth finish and the makeup lasts longer. The staying power of the makeup after using this primer is quite long. It doesn't move around your makeup. It doesn't change the shades of your foundation or blush or bronzer. It will keep your makeup stagnant and in the place. So definitely you should give your hands to this one. And here also you are getting approximately... I think 30, 30 ml of product and this primer is going to cost you around 
650 to 700 but wait for a discount as i said earlier i will mention everything in my description box where you can buy from definitely go and check out so if you are not looking for too many primers in your life you can definitely put your hands on this one so this is like the second recommendation i would just and give you last but not the least it has to be something little more different obviously each primer is different from each other anyone you pick is going to sort your issue the last but not the least it has to be my freedom pro primer now this again will cost you around um, 650 to 700 and here you're getting a little lesser that is 25 ml the other two you were getting 30 ml now maybe it's an international brand that is why the amount of primer here you're getting lesser i'm assuming that's okay the consistency of this primer is not very thick or not very thin it is somewhere in between but it is also a silicone form transparent no tint to tint is there into this primer so it will complement all skin types all skin tones and the finish of the primer is really smooth it is somewhat closer to color bar one i showed you and somewhat closer to the smashbox one which i use in whole the staying power with this primer is really good as in i have been using this one and the color bar one a lot nowadays and they both are good so if you put hands on this or this both will complement well but if you don't like something heavy or thicker on your skin then you should definitely get your hands on this one as you can see the consistency is really thin it will just blend into your skin the stay and uh, this primer is also going to last you for three years so and it's a good size tube you can carry it easily so why not give your give a try to this one so all the three primers are really good my final thoughts are like any one you pick is good but if you ask me which one is the best to go for then i would recommend you the freedom pro one if you don't like something heavy it is like one in all primer i really like all the three so these were the top three primers i wanted to share with you i hope you like it get some help do let me know in my comment section box which one you own already and if you had experienced anything with it so that's it guys please subscribe to my channel follow me everywhere you can and just stay tuned for more and more bye bye take care